and I'm off to visit some of the amazing animals that spend their time up in the air. But before you go on any adventure, it's important to be prepared. Now, what do I need? Hmm. Headband. Check. Sweatbands. Check. Loose, comfortable clothing. Check. Trainers. Double check. It's time for a warm-up. Join in however you can. So stretch your arms out, make sure you've got plenty of space around you, and follow me. Let's go for a walk. A funky walk. Keep it going. Now let's add our arms. All the way to the sky and back down. Here we go. Let's go for a walk. With our arms flapping in the air like a bird. Get ready to slide and slide and jump. Slide and jump. Slide and jump. Let's do the chicken. Jump and jump. Do the chicken walk. Jump and jump. Chicken walk. Jump and jump. All right. Jump and jump. Jump. Nice one. It's time for an up in the air adventure. Ah, I love going for a walk in the forest. Are you walking with me? Keep those knees up. Oh, wow. It's a booted racket tail hummingbird. Oh, look at it go. Can you fly like a hummingbird? Let's try it. Bring your arms all the way back and flap your wings really fast. On flying. Now let's fly this way. Keep on flapping. And this way. And faster. Great flying. Keep on moving. Hummingbirds are fantastic flyers. They can even avoid bees that fly too close. They feed on nectar that they find in flowers in the forest. Can you feed like a hummingbird? Put your hands behind your back and lean forward. Bending your knees as you go down. And up again. Now this way. Lean forward. Oh, feel that stretch. And up. The other side. All the way down. And up again. And to the front. All the way down. And all the way up. Great job. Right, let's keep moving. Oh. Hummingbirds are incredible animals. It, almost as incredible as an atlas moth. Oh, look! It's huge. Look at the way it flaps its wings. Let's fly like an atlas moth. Ready? Bring your arms up and down. All the way up and down. Now, atlas moths have huge wings. So really, bring those arms up and bend those knees on the way down, then up. Now let's move around. Ready? This side. Oh, what a great view from up here. And this side. Stretching your arms up. And again. And again. I love being an atlas moth, don't you? Right. We've seen some incredible animals so far. I'm sure there's some more too. Come on. <sighs> oh, what's that? It's a fan tail. Oh, look at it go. It's trying to catch its dinner whilst flying in the air. Let's move like a fan tail. Bring your arms right back, tuck them in, and then move your feet from side to side really quickly. Getting quicker as you go. That's it. Even quicker. Woo. Great. Keep moving. Ah, now let's make our own tail. A fan tail tail. Are you ready? Stretch your arms back and flap your tail like this. Excellent. Moving from side to side again. Flap that tail. Then all the way round. 
Stretch them out as far as you're comfortable. One more. And stop. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. What an incredible adventure. After all that flapping, I think I need to cool down. Stand with your feet apart and turn your head with me. And the other side. Now up and down and back. One more time to the side. Feel that lovely stretch to the other side. And up and down. Now stretch right up. Take a deep breath. And again, stretch right up. And breathe out. Now on your tippy toes, really tall and down. Try and touch your toes. Now on your tippy toes, really tall and down. Touch your toes. Then deep breath and shake it off. Shake off your legs and your hands and legs together. Then your whole body, shake it off. Great, well done. After all that, I'm going to go grab a glass of water. I think you should too. Oh, thanks. See you next time for another adventure.